Hey everyone, this is Somnath Gowder from Future Coders. In this video, we are going to be building these words and characters counter using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So let's give it a try. If I type here, hello everyone, as you can see, it's counting the number of characters in real time as well as it's counting the words. So if I type here, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this as you can see real time guys it's counting the number of characters and the number of words real time so guys this is what we will be building in this video so before we start building this please make sure you subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to leave a like on this video so let's get started <laughs> Okay, now let's start building it inside index.html. Index let's define the HTML structure by pressing exclamation and pressing enter. I'm going to give the title as words and characters counter. Let's also link our local CSS file and our JavaScript file. Okay, once we do that, let's open it in a live server. If you don't know what is live server, it is an extension. We can download it from the marketplace of Visual Studio by searching for live server and installing this extension. So once we do that, okay, now we have, let's make it a little bit smaller. Okay, now let's start building it. Let's insert the body. Let's define a container. A div with a class name of container and inside the container I'm gonna define another container for holding the counters right so here I'll say counters and inside this counters we are gonna have the the two counters right the one is characters counters and the word words counter words counter so here I'll define another division with saying characters counter and inside over here we're gonna have a span tag saying characters and uh, right below the span tag we're gonna have a div with an id of c count meaning character count initially it's going to be zero there we have it now similarly we're gonna have another container for words counter right here I will just say words counter and this is also gonna say words let's also change the id or it's going to be w count and right below our counters these counters we are gonna have a text area and it's not going to have any name let's remove that of course it's going to have an id let's give an id of content that's where that's where we type our content right so here content okay basically we are done with the html part let's head over to our css i'm going to use a font from the google fonts let's import that Here, I'm gonna search for Open Sans. Um, can't find any. Let's search it again. Okay, this one, Open Sans. I'm gonna need this 700 weight. Let's copy the import code and paste it over here. Now I can close this. Okay, once we get that, now by default, as I, as we all know, by default browser is gonna uh, how default margin and padding we need to clear it i'm going to set the margin to zero and padding to zero and box sizing to border box okay now let's target the whole body this one whole body i'm going to set the height as 100 view height 
background i'm gonna i'm gonna use the linear gradient to write let's say this color 96 d e d a okay and this one 50 c 9 c 3 okay there we have our gradient now let's align them centrally uh, sorry so center in the center vertically and horizontally by saying display flex align items to the center and justify content to the center okay now let's also set the font family which we already imported that's going to be this open sans and a fallback of sans serif okay now let's target the container this one whole this whole container i'm going to set the width as 500 pixels and height to 550 pixels display of flex align items to the center justify content to the center and sorry flex let's also set um, flex direction to column and justify content is going to be not center it's going to be space between okay there we have it now let's target the counters this one which is having both of our counter counters over here let's target that i'm going to set the width to 100 percent display of flex and justify content space around not space between around okay there we have it now let's target the span this one span tags and for the span i'm going to set the font size as 15 pixels and color to gray okay now i'm going to target the characters counter and this words counter these one this is characters counter and this words counter i'm going to target both of them one is characters counters and as well as our words counter and for them i'm going to set the width to 90 pixels and height to 90 pixels background color to white okay there we have it let's set the padding to let's say 20, 30 pixels okay now let's also set the border radius of 20 pixels let's also set the box shadow of 0 15 pixels 30 pixels rgb a value of 0 0 0 and alpha value is going to be 0 0.3 i also need to set the font size over here font size of 40 pixels that's actually not looking nice okay i think uh, yes this i need to remove this box sizing to border box to fix it okay there we have it once we have the bar uh, once we set the box shadow we need to actually align them centrally the offset by saying display of flex align items to the center and justify content to space around and i also need to set the flex direction to column okay there we have it characters <coughs> and words counter now let's target the text area <coughs> that's going to be this one and for the text area i'm going to set the color to black width to let's say 90 percent and height to 50 percent 
okay now let's also set the font size to 20 pixels and padding of 15 pixels outline of none and i don't want it to resize so i'm gonna disable it by saying resize to none and let's also set the background as rgba 255 that's going to be the white color right 255 to and the alpha value is going to be one actually okay now let's also set the border radius to 5 pixels and some box shadow of 0 15 pixels 30 pixels and rgb a value of you know 0 sorry 0 0 0 and alpha value is 0.3 okay there we have okay now we are done with the html and css part now we need to actually work on the javascript okay let's do that inside of our javascript file we need to have access to this text area whatever we type over here right and we need to have access to these characters counter and this words counter that is going to be this one right this one w count and this c count these are the numbers initially they are zero and we need to update as we type over here so for that let's have access to the dom by saying let's first access the text area by saying document dot get element by id i gave it the id of content right yes i gave it an idea of content right now we have access to that and we also need to have access to characters count by saying let's uh, make it as character count document dot get element by id and i gave it an idea of c count let's copy paste this and this one is going to be words count let's make it this characters only characters count and words count and i gave it the id of w w count okay once we have access to that i'm going to set the function text area dot on input this is gonna fire off whenever we start typing over here so here I will define an error function and let's actually find the number of characters we are typing so here I will say characters characters I need to grab the value that is typing over that is being typed over here I can do that by saying text area dot value not node value it should be value okay let's console log it to show you what we have inside the characters remember this on input is gonna fire off whenever we start typing in the text area so here as you can see as I type it is being console logging these characters okay now all i have to do is i need to append the number of characters over here so all i have to do is to this i need to update the text content to characters dot length right i need the length length of the uh, length of the characters that are present over here so once i do that let's see what happens as you can see as i type the characters are also the count is also updating but there is an issue it's also going to count the spaces as you can see as i give spaces it's going to consider them as also the characters so to remove that to, in order to remove that i'm going to use a regular expression replace I'm gonna replace I'm gonna add this regular expression 
by saying s and g and i need to replace this okay all you have to do all you need to do is this s is gonna actually match this white space and g stands for to match everything all the white spaces so here after replacing all the white space after removing all the white spaces and i need to find the length so here as you can now if i type something it's going to count the characters but if i add some spaces it's not going to consider those so we fix the issue so basically we are done with counting the characters now let's work on counting the words so here i will select words i can grab the words by saying text area dot value and i need to split uh, words are actually uh, this is a word and if i type something over here this is a word right so they are actually separated by a white space so i'm going i'm just going to sub i'm just going to split wherever there is a white space and i'm just going to filter call the filter method filter array method actually this split method is going to give us an array with the separate with separated by white spaces and we are going to and we will call this filter method on that array and this filter method is going to take each individual item from the array and i want to return the item which is not equals to the empty white space that's it now we have the words guys now all i have to do is i need to append the count over here right i can do that by saying words count dot text content is equals to words dot length okay now these are four characters and this is the one word now if i leave some space this is one not going to consider it as a character now if i start typing over here this is considered as a word as you can see we have two words and eight characters now if i type something over very big as you can see it's going to actually count those so guys this is what we will so uh, before that let's also test it some more actually as you already know we can generate some lorem text right so here i'm gonna just generate a lorem of 20 words this is gonna generate lorem 20 is gonna generate a lorem ipsum uh, text of 20 words so let's hit enter so i'm just gonna save it don't worry i will remove this i'm just gonna copy this remember it has 20 words right i just typed lorem 20 and generated it i'm just gonna remove this okay now if i paste it over here as you can see our lorem this is not actually it's a good thing it's not actually considering the white spaces let's remove those okay as you can see the words are actually 20 and the characters are 130 so guys that's it for this video i uh, hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys learned something from this video make sure you subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to leave a like on this video so i will see you in the next one